Hello, welcome to a Paper Flourish craft video. My name is Julie. Today I'm going to make a Christmas canvas and I'm going to use the stunning new Studio 73 Clockwork Christmas Collection. And I'm also using a Little Birdie MDF wooden name board. And I've chosen the one with the rounded corners. It also comes in a name board with square corners. Uh, this release, Steampunk Meets Christmas, the images, the colours, everything about this are unbelievable. So it comes as well in the 12 by 12 miniatures mix. I've got the full collection pack here and you can also get the set of die cuts to go with that as well. So I've chosen three pages, papers that I'm going to use. The first one is Meet the Clauses. The back of these pieces is as stunning as the front. I would recommend getting two packs so that way uh, you can use both sides because it's just amazing. This one here, She's an Angel. Have a look at her. Just beautiful. And the back, look at the cat. Super cute. And then the Rocking Reindeer. So I'm not sure exactly which if I'm going to use all three or not, but these are the ones I pulled out to, to use just beautiful the name board i have already uh, sealed this with stamperia primer and dried it and then i have painted it with stamperia allegro old ivory paint and dried that as well so that's ready now to start decorating now my idea when i saw this release on the back of meet the clauses is this lovely piece and this is kind of like old vintage this is what it reminds me of so I've decided to make the name board in that kind of feel and then add some lovely fussy cut images and decorations in the colors that are in the collection so that was my idea so I'll pop the other two sheets to the side for the moment I'm going to cut using my new Tim Holtz trimmer which I absolutely love I need to cut a piece which is four inches by 12 and I'm going to use this section on the left side of the sheet so I want to make sure that the piece that I cut measures um, the same length as the board so if I cut it right on that if I cut it right there we should be okay just taking off that strip along the bottom and then this is going to be four inches wide. Okay. Now at the moment that has square corners. It doesn't have the rounded corners, but once I've attached that, then I'll be able to take those, trim those corners away. So I'm going to stick this onto the front of the name board using Stamperia Mix Media Glue. I'm going to add a fairly generous layer of this mixed media glue all over the front here of the name board. And then taking the paper, I'm going to pop this in place. Should just fit nicely there on the front. And then I'm going to give that a dry. Now, just a hint, before it's dried, if you look on the side and there's a little bit of that mixed media glue seeping out, there's time enough here just to give that a quick wipe over. So I'll go ahead and give that a really good dry with my heat tool. I've removed the corners now from the paper and I did that using my self-healing mat and my craft knife. So this is now ready to add some more of that mixed media glue on the front. I'm going to add... Just a nice light coverage over the whole front with the mixed media glue. Dry it off and then repeat it. So you end up with the two coats of mixed media glue. And that gives it a really good seal on the front before we start to pop all those other mixed media products onto the canvas, to the board. So that's completely dry now. The mixed media glue gives it that really nice shine on top as well. What a lovely uh, finish there onto the board. Clear crackle paste or transparent crackle paste. This is a Stamperia product. I've got a metal palette knife and I'm just going to take a little bit on the back, keeping my palette knife flat. A bit of just going to scrape this into places on the canvas. Just sort of up and down. 
can see there before it's dried it's kind of a little bit opaque that crackle paste as i dry it now with the heat tool it will go completely clear that's will dry now the cracks aren't obvious at the moment but the next step is going to um, create that magic and bring those cracks to life I've got in a plastic cup just some baby oil. This is vintage antiquing paste, a Stamperia product. And this is a Lavinia uh, Series 7 stencil brush. A soft stencil brush is the easiest way to apply this paste. Now I'm using the baby oil just to dilute it down and it sort of makes it, helps it to move around a little bit better. I'm just going to put this on some paper. What I'm going to do with this, not only on the front, but also on the sides, just going around and covering the name board with that beautiful, um, that's vintage antiquing paste. Probably thinking it's not really beautiful. It's brown and pretty yucky at the moment, but wait in a moment, you'll see that incredible finish this creates. All right, so that's completely covered now. I can already see that crackle paste starting to show through. But first, baby wipe. I'm going to take quite a bit of the moisture away from it with a paper towel. And then I'm just going to wipe this back. Look at those cracks coming through the crackle paste. It's just amazing. Wipe it back as much as you want. But it's just going to leave, leave that fantastic vintage antique look on the name board. And here's the result of that fantastic vintage antiquing paste. Have a look at that paste sitting in the crack in the crackles. Just looks amazing. And now I'm just going to pop that to the side for the moment and start to work on um, the pieces that are going to go onto the name board. I've been having a look through some of my craft stash. I came across this mould. This is a Stamperia mould, Poinsettia and Garlands, I think it's called. I will make sure I list all of the names of the moulds and products I've used in the um, description for the video. But I've made some of these out of resin. Why I've chosen this is a lot, a lot of these moulds says the little poinsettias. And it reminded me of the flowers that are here with cogs mixed around them, but in the paper collection. So I'm going to go ahead and just seal these all with Stamperia primer to start. I'm also going to fussy cut some of the images out of the pages. I did say the word fussy cut. I usually try and avoid that as much as possible, but I really love some of the images in here. I adore this little cat on the sitting on the chest. The angel is beautiful. There's a little dog. So I'm going to do a bit of fussy cutting and preparation and then show you what I come up with. All right, I've started to put together some of the pieces that are going to go on the front of the, um, the board that already have seen me go through in the video. Um, I just wanted to apologise, there is a lot of background noise around my house today. Uh, a couple of blocks up from us, it's been continual cement trucks coming in and they're unloading cement onto a block. So, and I've been trying to wait for a break, but it just hasn't happened. So I figure we'll I'm just going to go with it. And I really hope that that noise, you're not noticing too much of the background noise. Um, going on. All right, the mould. So the poinsettia and garlands mould. The pieces that I've decided to use are this beautiful piece. This is going to go at the bottom of the board. I've chosen one of the lovely corner pieces and there's another little one here with the poinsettia and the word happy on it. So I've already done these. So I'm going to take you through the process of colouring this one so you can see how I got to this point. You can see here, it's got a lot of different colours going on in there, but the colours really go well with the images that I'm going to take out of the, the paper sheets uh, from that Clockwork Christmas. 
I have done the back of them. I painted them in paint and then sprayed them with that color leather spray, which I'll show you in a moment. The reason I've done that is that there is going to be a little bit of overlap where some of the molds coming off the side, and that way from the back it doesn't doesn't you're not looking at this stark white mold. I have made the molds out of resin. These ones. Now, first up, I've already primed. So the first thing I did was coated front and back of the mould with the Stamperia primer. So that's already done. This is the colour I've used as the base, Stamperia Blue Navy. And it's a really nice blue. And again, it tones in nicely with the papers in this collection. So I'm going to paint this mould. I said I've already done the back of it. So I'm going to paint the front of it with that blue navy. So that's painted. I only did the one coat. It's still some of that white primer showing through, but in the whole scheme of things, it's not going to matter. It doesn't need to be a completely solid coat of paint. Now this is white pearl wax. I've already popped some on my hand and I'm going to rub this over the top just to pick up the highlights of that mould those raised areas and that shows all of the lovely detail that's in that mold you see the word happy now stands out from the wax um, I'm going to spray this with the Stamperia Aquacolor leather spray I'm going to make sure that I get it all around the edges and then Paper towel, always give it a bit of a blot with the paper towel. And then I'm going to give that a good dry. And I'm also going to spray the back of it as well. And that's dry now. You can see that brown leather spray has settled into all of the grooves of the mold. A little bit on the back as well. And it's also dulled down a little that white pearl wax. That's why I did it in that order. Um, just so the white pearl is not quite as stark as it was. Aquacolor gold, pearl gold spray this time. And I'm just going to give that a spray the mold. Same thing, blot it and dry it. And now I can see that gold, just that little bit of a gold sheen on there as well. The last thing I'm going to do, this is old denim wax. And I just want to add a little bit of this gorgeous, look at that beautiful blue color. And I'm just going to add a little bit of this to the poinsettia. Just so it stands out a little bit more on the mold, just to the leaves there of the poinsettia. So they are the three molds which I'm going to use on the, on the front of the board. So I'll just pop those up here. So I'm just going to gather all my little bits and pieces that are going to go on the front and then start to piece, um, put my composition together. These are some metal cogs. Now they came out of a uniquely creative set. It's the mixed metal cogs and I've chosen the gold ones and I've given them a spray already with the leather aquacolor spray and dry them off. Be careful when you dry them with the heat tool because you need to let them cool down completely before you pick them up because being metal, they go really, really hot. But they're all ready to go. So that's another piece that's going on to the composition. The fussy cut images. Now I took these out of the, the sheet which I took, which was the other side of this. I'm trying to think what it was called. It was called meet the clauses but i've taken some images out of here it is the other side of it so i've cut out some pieces out of here i've also cut out this sheet is called she's an angel so all the pieces i've cut out have come from those two sheets here's that beautiful angel i've taken some of the beautiful blue flowers and also some of the cogs the cat, now there were two sizes of the cat and I've decided to use the larger one. So both of them were off that sheet and that's the larger one. And then there's, the, I found this little blue um, blue emblem, I can't think what that's called. Um, but okay, so I thought that might be nice tucked in somewhere. I've just noticed a little bit I need to cut on the cat. Um, a little bit on the side there that I missed. Now the difference, I don't know if you can see there, 
see how the angel's all shiny and the cat isn't? That's because what I've done already with the other images, I used the Stamperia Mixed Media Glue. I did one coat of that on the back and I did two coats on the front. And it really, it gives it a little bit extra strength, but it gives it that nice finish. I then went around the edge with black archival ink. And so that piece is now ready to put onto the board. So I'm going to do the same with the cat after I just fix up that little bit of fussy cutting. One coat of mixed media glue on the back, two on the front, go around the edges with the black archival ink. So that's the cat all finished. You can see compared to the smaller one, which is just out of the paper, it looks quite different, doesn't it? But this is now ready to pop onto the board. So the fussy cut images are done. I'm going to add a little bit of foliage as well. And if you're like me, I can't seem to go into a shop without finding product, things that I can put craft products onto. And I found this Christmas wreath, and this was, I actually got this at Browsing. And I've been using it in a couple of projects because the little berries are great, the leaves. Um, and so these are readily available all over the place at the moment with Christmas on the, with Christmas not that far away. And I've cut off a few little um, sets of the berries. They look great though, don't they? I used them on, um, if you saw my halo paste pine cones on the Christmas plate, I actually used them on there. I cut off some of the leaves as well. Now the leaves, I'm going to give them a paint with Stamperia Primer. The berries I'm not, I'm just going to leave those as they are for the moment. All right, this is Gold Pore Perina Stamperia product. This is the mixed media glue. And I've got the berries here. I've also got the leaves which have been coated in that Stamperia Primer. So what I'm doing is why I didn't put the primer on the berries is I actually want, these ones I've already painted with the Pore Perina. I'll show you how I've done that in a moment. But I want that little hint of red to show through. So you can see that it's almost a little bit streaky. It's just going to give that little pop of red onto the onto the board. I'm just going to paint the stalk. So how I did that, I picked up a little bit of the mixed media glue, picked up a little bit of the Pore Perina, and then just painted. So those berries are all painted now and they're just going to sit there and dry. Um, I did four lots. I don't know how many I'm going to use. They're probably not all four, but it was just fun to do them. The leaves, again, mixed media glue, poor Perina, and I'm just going to paint the leaves and make them gold. Look at the leaves. Don't they look amazing? That poor Perina is so easy to use, the most amazing product. Now for my little gold bauble, so I'm gonna add a little touch of snow with my Arctic snow. This is the Stamperia product. I'm just gonna tap a little bit on. So now the fun part begins. Stamperia Glossy Gel, I find this is one of the easiest way to piece together the composition. And I'm just going to get a fine brush. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place this mold up in the top corner. So I'm just going to place some blobs of glossy gel underneath the mold and squish it down onto that top corner. On the back you can see there's a little bit of that glossy gel that has escaped. Have another little brush ready and you can just pick up any of that excess gel and take it away. The next thing I'm going to do is place the cat into position. If you can see on the picture here on the board, there's a little chest. So I'm going to pop the cat, the cat and the chest right on top of that so it's next to the soldier. A little bit overlapping over to the side, that doesn't matter. Same thing, just some glossy gel on the back. These are just going down flat onto the board. This mould here, the long one, is going to go across the bottom. So it's again the same, just some glossy gel on the back and I'll just pop that down into position. This glossy gel, it takes just a little bit to set. So you've got a little bit of time to wriggle things around if you need to. But when it sets, it is set for good. 
All right, I've played around with a composition at the bottom. So I had that mold in place, the fussy cut images. I've put two of the gold leaves that were joined together and I've joined all of this with the Stamperia Glossy Gel. I've got the leaves, I've got the little um, berries as well. And I've also fitted three of the cogs in there as well, tuck them in. So at the moment it's just drying, it's being held with glossy gel, but I said it'll just take that little bit of time to dry and then it'll be fine. Oh, I've got a friend coming up. Hello, Murphy. He's come up to join in. Bit of a messy time to be up for the craft table, but that's okay. Now the beautiful angel, I'm planning on having her sit somewhere up here, I'm thinking, sort of just off center, but I wanna raise her up. So I've got some little pieces of box board what I'm going to do is stick those together with glossy gel. Whenever I've cardboard or, or box board, anything like that, whenever I've got some scraps, so I cut it up into squares, pop it in this container, and then it's ready for when I want to use it. So I'm just going to make a few little stacks of these. And I just want her to sit up high enough that her wing, her wing sits kind of on top of that mould. I've got four pieces there. I'll make another stack the same. Right, I'm just testing it out. I've got four of those pieces of, of box board stacked on top of each other. If I pop her on the top, that's going to sit at about the level where I want her to be. So her wing is just sort of sitting just above the mould. So I'll attach those to the back of her and then pop her down into place on the, on the, um, on the board. Right, this piece here, the blue flower with the cogs, I've stacked another four pieces up and just popped it on the end underneath the cogs and because I want this to go over sort of the end of her legs is the plan, something like that. So that way the flower is sort of the same level as her, as the angel, but the, um, of course those box board holds the other end up in place. I'll stick that down. All right, I am playing around again. So the angel's in position, this bit, um, the fussy cut is, I'll just show you what I've done here. Four pieces of box board underneath just the bottom side of that um, mold. And I'm just going to pop that there over, over the cut edge of that fussy cut. And that's going to sit up there. These gold leaves here that are joined, I'm putting a bit of glossy gel on those. And I'm just going to tuck those in, if I can do it, just underneath the angel and, the, and that blue flower. I thought that would look quite nice just tucked in there. Hopefully that holds okay. Now, still got a few other bits and pieces here. Let's see. Don't mind that down there. I might stick that down just flat onto the board. We're getting there. The great thing is with this glossy gel that it just gives you time to just to move things around if need be before it finally sticks. And then now cogs. I've got another gold leaf. I'm thinking it needs to go somewhere. That looks quite nice. Let's stick that in. I've actually chopped the bottom of that off because it's a little bit long. So I might just tuck that in underneath there. So then it sort of balances the gold out a little bit. I don't know that I'm going to use any more of the berries. I think, I think there's probably enough might just leave the berries down the bottom, I think. Unless I change my mind in a moment. The gold cogs. The cogs, I've actually popped two in there. And then I'm going to just sit this little one. And just, just with some glossy gel, just sit that on the top there like that. Again, if you get that little bit of glossy gel that seeps out, just take it away with a brush. And that'll dry nice and clear then. Yeah. 
All right, I think I'm almost done. I'm just going to sit and have a look at it for a minute and decide if there's anything else I want to add. But I think it's looking pretty full as it is. What I normally do at this point is I find a good hint is take a photo with your camera and have a look at it. Or sit back from it and have a look and see if there's anything else uh, that you'd like to add to the to the to your composition. But I think it's I'm pretty well done. I had lots, sort of lots more of these, but I'll save those for another project. Um, one last thing I'm going to do, and this is the Aquacolor Spray in the Pearl Gold. Give it a good shake. And I'm just going to add some splatters. And that's finished. I've dried those Pearl Gold splatters. I'll hold this up so you can have a look. Close look at everything. It's the most beautiful collection to work with that Clockwork Christmas. Look at the little cat, so cute. I love that you can still see the background, still see the crackles coming through as well. So that is my Clockwork Christmas board, name board. Put it down so you can see it. Thank you so much for watching the video, everyone. Have fun making your Christmas um, boards, canvases, everything that you're working on at the moment and I look forward to being back again soon with more videos. Thank you so much for joining me and watching the video. Bye!